Hello, I'm the Budget Muddler and this is episode 5 of my Seata Fokka DR1 and Red Baron build. If you're watching this then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. To start off we're going to be cleaning up the prop ready for painting. Then as well as the tail skid and anti-roll bars we're going to be painting these Tamiya XF57 buff. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. That's those parts given their first coat. Well, apart from the prop, that's on its second. Anyway, once dry, we can then give them another coat. Next up, we're going to be sorting out the struts for the undercart, making sure we have them correctly seated and in place. So, here we go with that. There we go, that's the struts in place. Next, we're going to be putting in some 3D printed rigging points. Thanks to my fellow armourer, Gary Charles, for sending me the STL. This size is 148 scale with an internal hole of 0.5mm. There's 50 points on the base and they take about mm, an hour to print on my Elegoo Mars Pro. So, let's get these two put in place. There we have the rigging points super glued in place. We already know which way around the struts go as we suss that before we put the rigging points in. So hopefully let's get those said struts all glued into the right place. So here we go with that. As you can see, by the time I'd finished pissing around with trying to take the undercart in place, the glue had dried enough to keep them in place, so there's that done. Next, we're going to be carrying on gluing the fuselage halves together. Here we go with that. There we have the two fuselage halves glued together. That's the last section glued. We'll leave that to dry overnight. It's now the following day and I did some work off camera. Yes, I forgot to start the recorder. Anywho, I painted them with Vallejo wood grain 70.828 with a stiff brush, giving the grain marks. I also started cleaning up the seams on the fuselage before I remembered to turn the camera on. So, let's crack on with some scene bashing, shall we?
Well, that's the seams looking good. There are a couple of bits that's going to need filler here and there, but we'll do that later. Next up, the lower wing fitment. This is an absolute mare. To begin with, there's a lip of about two mil, so we had to knock that down first. Let's get that bit done. I'm using different files from my go-to nail file, my homemade flexi files, to the small metal files, which I'm really comfortable using being an engineer. The lower wing wouldn't come out far enough and it was really getting my rag. So far we've been filing and fitting for over an hour and it still didn't fit. So a drastic course of action was required. Out came the micrometer. I measured halfway along the lower wing and cut the bastard in half. Then I cut about a millimetre off either end of the tabs, just like this. And there we have the wings fitted correctly. That hole will certainly need filling. As I was doing the undercut, I noticed there were some parts of the seam on the fuselage that I'd missed. So let's get those done, shall we?
that's those seams bashed. Now for filling. I'm using Mr Dissolve Putty for this, so let's get them sorted. the filler done we'll leave that to dry it won't take long in this heat next up is some hairy sticking we'll be doing the metal parts on the tail skid the anti-roll the prop hub his space stick and his blue max so here we go with those There we go, that's those parts done. We can leave those over there to dry. Now back to the filler, which in this heat has dried. We'll take a damp cotton bud, clean up the worst, then we'll knock it back with a file or two. Here we go. Here I'm knocking back the outline of the white square so I know where it is. repair on the homemade flexi file bit of super glue sticks it back together we have the seams bashed and ready for priming. Happy with that am I? Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode 5. If you want to see what happens in episode 6, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.